When the going gets tough, the tough get going. Few people truly represent this quote, like Volodymyr Zelensky. He may not own a yacht or a private jet, but many would argue that Volodymyr Zelensky has something much more valuable. So how did the voice actor for Paddington Bear go from playing a president on TV to being the illustrious leader of Ukraine? His road is twister than you think. Stay tuned till the end as we uncover the incredible story of Volodymyr Zelensky's rise from punchline to president. This is the true rags to riches story of Volodymyr Zelensky. Zelensky's current role as Ukrainian president earns him only 28,000 hryvnias annually, or just $930 per month which is an annual salary of roughly 11,200 US dollars per year. That's a far cry from the $400,000 annual salary of a US president. While Russian propaganda may have listed his net worth at a whopping $1.5 billion, the reality is a bit different. Based on the president's financial disclosures, his total assets are actually worth a much more modest 1.5 million USD. So where does most of Zelensky's money come from? His decades-long entertainment career has been a huge source of wealth for the Ukrainian president. From starring in Russian-language films, to voice acting work, to his political satire comedy series, the trilingual comedian-turned-politician has steadily been making a name for himself and earning money while doing it. Volodymyr Zelensky was born in 1978 in Krivirich in the Ukrainian Soviet Union. His grandfather served in the Red Army during World War II. The son of Jewish parents, Zelensky's great-grandfather and three uncles were killed in the Holocaust. His parents have made a middle-class living as scientists. His father is a professor and computer scientist and the head of the Department of Cybernetics and Computing Hardware at the Krivi Rich Institute of Economics and Technology. His mother is an engineer. Prior to starting elementary school, he lived for four years in Mongolia, in the city of Erdenet, where his father worked. At age 16, he passed the TOEFL and received an education grant to study in Israel. But his father wouldn't allow him to go. As a teenager, he decided to deviate from the family profession to pursue comedy. At 17, he joined KVN, a comedy club that competed in televised game shows with other chapters in Ukraine and Russia. His comedic talents landed him a spot on the national Ukrainian team that performed in KVN's major league event and won first place in 1997. But it wasn't all fun and games for Zelensky. He balanced his emerging comedy career with a much more practical plan B. By night, he cracked jokes and did improv before a national audience. But by day, he attended law school full-time at the Krivi Rich Institute of Economics from 1995 to 2000. In 1997, at just 19, he decided to found his own comedy team, Kravtal 95. Over the next few years, Zelensky would follow his entrepreneurial passions to transform Kravtown 95 from an award-winning KVN team to an independent comedy outfit. In 2003, after years of working out of Moscow and touring post-Soviet countries, the group returned to Ukraine. Under Zelensky's leadership and legal expertise, the organization began producing television shows for the Ukrainian channel OnePlus One. Our ambitious objective, Zelensky said, is to make the world a better place, a kinder and more joyful place with help of those tools that we have, that is humor and creativity. It's a philosophy Zelensky hasn't hesitated to apply to his own life. His lightheartedness is best on display on the Ukrainian version of Dancing with the Stars. Zelensky was a contestant on the show dazzling the judges with his costumes and over-the-top dances. He was so impressive that he snagged first place in the very first 2006 season. In the years that followed, he left TV for the silver screen. Zelensky made a name for himself as a heartthrob in a handful of romantic comedies, like Love in the Big City <laughs> and Office Romance. If it weren't for his popular television series, Servant of the People, 
The comedian probably would have remained a comedian, producer, and actor. The popular Ukrainian satire series that ran for three seasons and one movie, in it, Zelensky, who created, produced, and starred in the irrelevant comedy, played a high school history teacher whose profanity-laden rant against government corruption in Ukraine goes viral, and his unexpectedly elected president of Ukraine. Vasily Petrovich Golobarodka? Доброе утро, господин президент. The role would turn out to be a prophetic one, mirroring Zelensky's own rise to political office. When Zelensky and his production company Kravtad 95 registered his grassroots party, also called Servant of the People, many dismissed the move as a stunt. Especially since during his election campaign, Zelensky continued to tour with Kravtal 95, six months before he announced his candidacy for the Ukrainian presidential election in 2019. Zelensky was already one of the frontrunners in opinion polls. Zelensky stated that as president, he would jumpstart the economy and attract new investments to Ukraine by revitalizing the justice system and restoring confidence in the state. One of his presidential campaign promises was that he would only serve one term in office. Clearly, voters responded to his anti-corruption message. Zelensky won both the first round of elections and the runoff election following his successful, almost entirely virtual, presidential campaign to unseat the incumbent president, Petro Poroshenko. He won an outstanding 70% of the vote. Even still, when he was elected president, many thought it was a joke. Not even his astronomical and resounding victory convinced people that he was anything more than a comedian. Those concerns were put to rest in early 2022, when Russia invaded Ukraine. Zelensky had a choice to make, flee to safety or stay and lead the fight for his country. When the United States offered to evacuate Zelensky from the country in light of threats on his own life, he famously replied, the fight is here. I need ammunition, not a ride. During the first several weeks of the crisis, he filmed himself and his closest advisors on his smartphone as proof that they hadn't abandoned their fellow Ukrainians. As an entertainer and producer, Zelensky is skilled at leveraging social media into a powerful tool. His defiant posts and speeches have gone viral, racking up millions of views. Whether he's appearing in a simple army green t-shirt to speak in front of the US Congress, or being photographed drinking tea with his soldiers, Zelensky has become the public face of the Ukrainian resistance. His determination and courage have captivated the world and earned him the respect of ordinary people and politicians alike. And his transparency and impassioned pleas have helped his cause. Dozens of countries have pledged their support for the Ukrainian people and the growing influx of refugees. His ability to rouse empathy has mobilized leaders to provide the nation with much needed support. And his emotional pleas have ratcheted up opposition to invasion, underscoring the importance of effective, genuine communications in times of crisis. Luckily, Zelensky was the perfect man for the job. His experience from a young age in front of the cameras as an improviser and comedian, coupled with his charisma and genuine nature, have made him a compelling leader and politician. When he created his satirical TV show back in 2015, Volodymyr Zelensky couldn't have predicted what the reality of the presidency would require of him. But it's clear that he stepped up to the task, even when it would have been easier to give in to the pressures of his presidential role. His bravery and tenacity are sure to be remembered by history, along with his incredible past and the twisty road that made him an iconic leader. Let's count down some of the lessons you can learn from the inspiring story of Volodymyr Zelensky that'll help you reach new levels of success in your own life. First, lead by example. Hopefully, most of us won't find ourselves in circumstances that'll make displaying the same levels of courage as Zelensky and many of his fellow Ukrainians necessary. Even still, we can be inspired by their actions. In fact, many have been already. 
impassioned appeals to world leaders have resulted in commitments to humanitarian and military aid on a scale not seen in generations. Part of what makes Zelensky such a great leader is that he understands what his people need and is working against incredible odds to ensure their safety and freedom. Despite being labelled target number one, Zelensky chose to stay with his people in the capital, even shooting videos from the streets of Kyiv and within government buildings as proof, ensuring that his citizens and troops know he's with them in body and spirit has only boosted morale. His ability to focus on others and his fearlessness in getting into the trenches serves as an example to leaders everywhere. Second, be authentic. The former comedian has demonstrated true genius in his effective and authentic communication style. His candid updates on social media have shaped global views about the invasion of Ukraine and influenced world leaders to act. Zelensky's gripping video conference with the leaders of the European Union left many participants emotional and his impassioned pleas for aid have swayed even the most reluctant countries into imposing financial sanctions against Russia. Partly due to Zelensky's actions, Europe has demonstrated the greatest show of unity in decades, mobilizing its leaders to show unprecedented support for the war-torn country. Exceptional communication skills in an arena of information warfare has emerged as one of the hallmarks of this conflict. Ukraine's leaders and the powerful testimonials from fearless civilians forced to take up arms in defense of their nation have inspired the global public. The authenticity of Zelensky's homemade and personal reporting has made it impossible for the world to ignore the plight of Ukraine's citizens and has spurred action and attention in hugely influential ways. Third, remain cool under pressure. It's been said that a crisis doesn't build character, it reveals it. No one demonstrates this notion better than the Ukrainian president. The heroic response to adversity and immense pressure has revealed so much about Zelensky's character, not to mention capturing the attention of the world. There is no blueprint for moments of consequence and adversity. One thing is clear, effective leaders need to be able to remain calm rational and in control, especially when their circumstances test their decision-making abilities. A cool head is essential in any crisis, no matter its size. We hope you've learned something from Volodymyr Zelensky's journey, from punchline to respected leader. Remember, lead by example, be authentic and remain cool under pressure. Do you agree or disagree that we got all of Volodymyr Zelensky's life lessons right? Would you add others? And make sure to like, share and subscribe for more Rags to Riches stories and personal lessons from your favorite celebrities and entrepreneurs. We put out new stories frequently, so stay tuned for more inspiring content you can apply to your own life. See you next time, Rags to Riches TV fans.